Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is maximum sum leave to road path. Right, so as usual, first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part. Okay, but before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel. If you haven't subscribed the channel till now, it will motivate me to create more such content for you. And make sure to join our telegram community as well. The link for the telegram channel is there in the description. So you can just check it from there. So let's get started with the problem statement now. The problem says given a binary tree, you have to find the maximum sum path from a leaf to root. Right? So that's what our question is. So we have to determine the maximum sum path. Let's understand the same with the help of an example. So here we are having this binary tree. Right? So here, if you will see for this path from 1 to 2, so what is the sum for this path? 3 and 1, 2, 3, what is the sum? 4, right? So 3 and 4, which one is maximum? 4, right? So that's why we are getting the output as 4. Even in the explanation, they have specified the same thing that following the path 3 to 1 results in a sum of 4, which is the maximum path sum from leaf to root for the given tree. Let's understand another example too. So here if you will see, so 10 minus 2, we will be having 8 plus 8, 16, right? And if you will go with this part, so 10 minus 2 minus 4, so obviously this would be less. Then 10 plus 7, so it would give us 17, right? So here you can see following the path 7 to 10 results in a sum of 17, which is the maximum path sum from leaf to root for the given tree, right? So I hope the problem statement must be clear for you till now. So whatever task is, we don't have to, like we don't have to read any input or print anything. Our task is to complete the function max path sum, which takes the root node of the tree as input and returns an integer denoting the maximum possible leaf to root path sum. Now here they have specified the expected time complexity and auxiliary space as well, right? So I hope that is clear. So now let's come to the logic part. Well, question is pretty easy only. So what we have to do? See, when you are here on the root node, okay. So what needs to be done is, first of all, if the root is null, if the root is null, then we have to simply return to zero. Otherwise, we will be proceeding. So first we are on this path. We will be taking a variable to keep track of the sum for each part. So let's say we call it this sum as a maximum, right? So first we are on this uh, root node, then it's up to us whether you are exploring the left chain or the right chain, right? So if we're exploring the, if we're exploring the left chain, so one plus two is going to give us three. That is going to give us three, right? Now, when we have to take the decision, that okay which part is going to give us the maximum sum when we reached up to the leaf node see from one to two we are here on the leaf node and the sum is three so we can like we'll be updating our variable maximum that i specified right so we'll be updating it so if the value whatever value we have stored in our maximum sum we can initialize this with integer dot min value right so as if the three is greater than that of the value that we do have in our maximum so we'll update the value then we'll explore this path right the right child we'll explore so one two three again we reach to the again we reach to the leaf node right so we'll be having the sum as four so again we can check that after reaching at the leaf node if the value that we do have in our max sum if that is if that is what is smaller than that of the sum we have got so update the value right and simply we can return the maximum sum right so that's what we have to do okay now i hope that when you will be having a look on the code part things will be more clear so let's understand so here we are having this uh, max sum variable as a global variable right now this is our function max path sum so first of all if our root is equal equal to null we have to simply return zero right and we are initializing max sum with integer dot min value now we are taking this function helper to which we are passing what root as well as zero so initially our sum will be what zero so right so that's why we are passing here zero now 
see what we are doing here is that see if node is equal equal to null we have to simply return otherwise what we're going to do is we are going to take the sum of nodes till the leaf node at the leaf node we have to take the decision so sum equal to sum plus node dot data right now in this condition what we are doing is when we have to take the decision when we are on the leaf node and how you will determine if a node is a leaf node or not see for a leaf node there is no left or right check so that's what we are checking here that if node dot left equal equal to null and node dot right equal equal to null it means what it means we are on the leaf node and now here we have put in the condition that if the sum that we have got if it is greater than that of the max sum so we'll update the value of max sum uh, with the value of sum right and here we are making call to the left child to the left child of the node right and to the right child of the node right so that's what we are doing so i hope the code part is even clear for you i have provided the code in the description for the difference so you can just have a look from there in if in case there is any confusion thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye